crack a lock in YouTube. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. You know what it is. It's your favorite gamer here. I'm the Puff Man. I'm coming back to you with some more Cold War zombie glitches. Guys, in this one, I got some of the best working glitches in D Machina or Die Machine, whatever it is you want to call it. So, if at any time you guys enjoy the video, do me a favor smash that like button if you guys are new to the channel you're gonna want to subscribe so hit that subscribe button with the bell notifications and with that being said let's get into these glitches come on let's go all right me amigos guys i'm currently sitting at 1941 subscribers omg we're 59 subs away guys from hitting that 2000 mark wow a wee Guys, I want to thank you all so much for your support. It's very much appreciated. I love each and every one of you guys. I can't thank you guys enough. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, guys, so I got a bunch of unlimited XP glitches here, unlimited camo glitches. I got a few of my favorite, which I am going to go into detail with with you guys, and a few other ones where I'm just going to show you guys right quick. And, yeah, let's get right into it. <laughs> Oh, God. All right, guys. So you're going to want to craft yourself a frag grenade if the zombies weren't uh, dropping them for you. So you could get them two ways. Make your way to the crafting table. Craft yourself one or shank all the zombies and hopefully they'll drop you guys one. And let's skip forward here a little bit. So once you've gotten yourself that uh, frag, guys, go ahead end the round but keep one zombie. Sorry, so don't end the round. Just keep one zombie. You're going to make your way right here, guys. Crouch. And then once you've crouched, go ahead, kill off that last zombie. It'll buy you some time. Now you're going to push to the right and go up until you feel like a little barrier. You're not going to be able to go anymore, which would be right here. You're going to turn around, guys. Hold your frag grenade. Now this is solo, like I was saying, so you will have a self-revive. Now, square and O at the same time. It's going to bring you back up. You're going to stay crouched. You're going to push back and to the right until you feel that barrier again. You won't be able to go anymore. And if you can't move to the left or the right, bada bing, bada boom, you got yourself in a pileup glitch. Now, this is super OP, guys. You can also do this with a toxic growth, which I'm about to show you. So if you're just going for that unlimited XP, I suggest setting up the toxic growth. Don't turn on the power or anything like that. But if you are going for camos, guys, you are going to want to turn on power, pack a punch, uh, stuff like that, and then get back up into this glitch. There is also another way if you're just going for the unlimited XP where you don't have to down yourself to get into this glitch. And I'll show you guys that as well. Let's get into it. All right, so you're going to want to stay there, guys, until you've gotten yourself three decoys. You can pick them up as the zombies are dying, like as you're shooting them. So go ahead, pick them up. Uh, if not, just wait till you've crafted enough salvage to go ahead and get yourself uh, three decoys. Uh, again, you're going to have to get another 250 uh, of the other kind of salvage, the blue salvage. So like I said, just stay up in that glitch till you have all this ready, guys. Should be around this round here. Uh, it's going to be kind of tight in here. If you guys don't want to round up your zombies down in here to get the uh, infinite toxic growth, go ahead, do it out in spawn, and then bring them all back in here. But when you're ready, guys, decoy like that. Now we're simply just trying to get these guys piled up as tight as we can. But this is a nice high round. So just keep throwing those decoys right there, guys. And then activate that toxic growth right in the middle. Kind of run your way back this way. And bada bing, bada boom, your toxic growth is going to be right there. Good to go. Uh, again, guys, I got lots of toxic growth uh, videos out there. So if I've gone through it too quick, just go check out another video, guys, and you'll see it. I will be going through it again in this video, so no worries. Now, right now, what I'm doing is I'm just going through all the zombies. I'm going to keep myself one or two zombies. I'm going to go get ready to get back into that glitch again. That's what I'm doing now. So, yeah, go ahead and do that, guys. We're going to skip forward a little bit. All right, so we're back in the glitch here, guys. You simply just sit here if you're going for that unlimited XP. Just sit here. Megaton's going to be spawning in behind you. You don't have to worry about him. Now, you didn't turn on power. Remember, don't turn on power if you're just going for the XP. And then you just sit here, guys, and at the beginning of every round, you're going to want to go ahead and interact with the game. So you're going to want to reload, shoot a couple times, reload again, you know, showcase your gun, stuff like that. And then your XP is just going to continue coming. 
Now, if you're going for the camos, guys, again, before getting into this spot for the second time, you're going to want to make sure you're fully packed out or at least pack a punch the one time. Uh, get yourself things like Jug, Quick Revive, because those dogs will come because we turned on power and they will hit you a few times. So just make sure you got that done, guys, and you'll be a golden. Yeah, yeah. Now, let me show you the other way to get into this glitch, guys, without downing yourself right quick here. All right, so I lied. Apparently, I didn't save the clip. So let's move on to the next one. This one, you're going to be doing the truck glitch, guys. So you're going to want to have yourself quick revive. So go ahead and make yourself enough money to do so. Get yourself quick revive. And then we're going to save ourselves one zombie. So we could go ahead and get into the mantle glitch without uh, getting downed. Yeah, yeah. Let's fast forward to it right. Meow. All right, so first step up here on the truck, guys, is we're going to jump up onto the hood from the front of the truck. Now, you got to get your crosshairs just perfect here, guys. So if you continue watching the video here, like you, you are going to struggle to get into this, but you only got the one zombie. You got quick revive, so you'll be good to go. Just keep trying to get into it. Now, get your crosshairs right where mine are. You see me. I'm going to adjust them again here in a little bit because I'm not quite getting it. But I'm going to show you with a nice big fat red arrow on the screen where exactly to have them. Make sure you're looking all the way down. And then you're simply right there. You see where I adjusted? I just adjusted. But once you adjust like that, guys, you're going to back yourself right up as far as you can before falling off. And then you're just going to run into that pilliard, guys, like straight into the pilliard. And then you're going to see yourself floating in the air. So like as you run into it, let go of that stick right after you ran into it here. This zombie's kind of too far. So I'm going to get down, guys. I'm going to get him closer. I'm going to get back into it. But yeah, you just simply get those crosshairs where I was. And then you run into that pilliard right there on my right, that concrete pilliard. And uh, let go of the stick right away. And you should be good to go. You'll get it. I got faith in you guys like I always say. So again, crosshairs right where I am right there. Back up all the way, guys. And just run into that pilliard. And it's gonna you're going to start floating as soon as you let go of that stick. As soon as you ran into the pilliard, let go of the stick. Sorry if I'm saying it over and over and over again, guys. But I just want to make sure you guys get it done correctly. So you don't get frustrated. Now, so we got up on top of the truck from the front. Now, all the zombies are going to pile up at the front of that truck. Uh, also, another thing, guys, if you're just going for unlimited XP here, I would try to go around the map and keep this door closed. I will show you guys some uh, gameplay on having that door closed. It's much better that way. Uh, if you're going for camos, guys, I wouldn't even worry about it. But now we're going to be setting up here for the toxic growth, which I'll fast forward to right now, baby. All right, here we go, guys. So a nice big fat horde here while you're just sitting here. Uh, I would go in like the higher rounds, like round 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, so you just get a nice big fat horde here, guys. You may have to kill off a dog or two. But uh, actually, sorry, no, you won't even have to because if you guys are going for the unlimited XP, you're not turning on power here, guys. You're just simply going to stand here. Uh, you're going to get into the glitches. And then at the end of every round, beginning of a new round, you're going to interact with the game, like I keep saying. Because you cannot go AFK anymore. So if you're seeing videos that are saying AFK, nope. I don't think so. <laughs> so yeah, again, guys, a big, nice, big, fat horde of zombies here. If they're getting stuck there on the right, just shoot at them. They're going to go here to the front of the truck. And then you're just going to wait till the horde's there like we're doing now. And then move your way forward. Activate that toxic growth. Do a nice little jump over on top. That way there you know they're all staying in the toxic growth. And bada bing, bada boom. There's your first toxic growth. Now we're going to be doing a second one here for the unlimited XP. That one was simply just for the Megaton that will come in the higher round. So next one here, guys, is very crucial on how you jump onto the truck. So you're going to want to go ahead, keep yourself one zombie, and then get back into the glitch. But this time, we're going to be getting onto the truck from right here. So mantle up from right here, guys, and then get onto the hood, then back into the glitch because they're all going to pile up right here this time, which is perfect. Now, as when you mantle onto the truck, guys, whichever which way you mantle onto this truck, like get up on top of it, that's where the zombies are going to pile up. So if you come up from the back of the truck, they're going to pile up from the back of the truck. So do it exactly how I explain it, guys. Get back into this glitch. And then we're simply just going to wait till we get a nice big fat horde again. We're going to move forward. Activate that toxic growth. Bada bing, bada boom. You got your second toxic growth there, guys. This is so OP. I love this glitch. 
it is a little bit harder to get into because you do have to do activate the two toxic growths but i got faith in you guys like i always say i know you guys could do it and then you just simply get back into the glitch guys and uh, you just sit there and like i was saying again uh you do have to interact with the game so at the end of every round or maybe at the beginning of every round go ahead interact with the game guys shoot your weapon reload uh, shoot again you know look at your weapon showcase it and again the way you get onto the truck is where they're gonna pile up from so be careful on that now let's move on to the next one here guys which is the iron lung now i know a lot of you have a hard time with this and i know a lot of content creators are telling you guys to mantle up from a distance and then back up after you mantle up no that's not how it's done guys as you're mantling up you got to be pulling back on that stick and as soon as you're up let go of that stick guys and bada bing bada boom you're going to be in that pile up glitch guys which is right here below me now if you want to go ahead and do the toxic growth part Go ahead and do so guys i'm just i'm not going to go through it all with you because the video is just going to be too god dang long so yeah uh the proper way to do this guys is look directly into that circle the mirror circle on the iron lung uh mantle up from a distance and as you're mantling up you're going to be pulling back on your stick and as soon as you're up let go of that stick guys and you should be hitting this glitch perfectly every time it is not a mantle up and then after you're up you're gonna back up a little bit no these guys are just lucking out i assure you this is the proper way of doing it so yeah do it that way let's move on to a couple other more uh mantle on top glitches pile ups whatever you want to call them let's go all right so sorry guys i'm just going to be showing you two more pile up spots in the uh crash site area because the video is just getting too long here and i don't want to bore you guys too much so go ahead and make your way to the crash site guys i'm going to be showing you two more here these are great for camos uh, if you want to go ahead once you're up in these spots go ahead and do the toxic growth thing you guys can i do have previous videos that show you guys how to do these with the toxic growth so if you want to go check them out go ahead check them out but this one you're going to want to jump up guys and after you've jumped up you're going to want to jump again and it's going to show your feet floating in the air if they're not floating in the air guys you've done it wrong so go ahead get down and go and try it again and let's move on to the next one here last and final one guys so so we all right so the last one here i got for you is they're a little tricky to get into i thought i had it here but my feet are not floating so i did it improperly i'm gonna get down and i'm gonna do it again so i'll show you guys the right way it's it's touchy guys this one's touchy but they're all gonna pile up there so i'm just gonna go around up here again uh, make sure you guys got the one zombie jug you know quick revive when you're doing these glitches now from a distance you're gonna want to mantle up here and just let go of everything guys so mantle up and just let go and it's gonna kind of throw you to the right a little bit like so and you're gonna be having your feet dangling right there and that's your pile up glitch guys hope you enjoyed the video hope you enjoyed the glitches guys don't forget to smash that like button so i continue making this content subscribe with that bell notification on so you don't miss any of my awesome excellent videos get in the game have some fun glitch something out stay frosty until next time i'm the puff man peace out